Hello and welcome. Today I want to talk about the field blur. It's in the filters and you can get to it by two ways. So before we start we will need an image and I found one online. You can use any image you uh, like for this. So I'll go to open and just open our image. And the image I've got is full of heads. And to get to the field blur we'll first unlock our layer and then come up to the top and go down to layer life filter blur and then come down to field blur in this your little circle in the middle is your handle you've got preserve alpha what that does is if we tick it on when we go up to full blur it won't affect the edges but if we come back down and turn it off and go up you can see it comes away from the edge so I'll leave that turned off and then we've got the blend modes I'll come back to these settings I'm gonna go to the one I'll go to the other one so we'll delete that one and the other way to get to it is filter blur and field blur but you'll notice in this one you haven't got the preserve alpha even though we left it turned off in the live filter with this one it's auto turned on so you don't need to worry about this one and you haven't got your blend modes but we can change them up there so our circle in the middle like i just said is our handle our global radius turns the whole lot blurred the middle one is how much it blurs from around our handle and the bottom one is meant to control the distance but if we move that up over here give that a bit of a blur and come down it still affects the whole image even if we was to lower it put it right up it still affects the whole image and it shouldn't do it should only stay to around this area and then low obviously makes it come out further and at this point i've seen a few people think oh it's not working but like I said at the start of the video, this filter can be a bit tricky and you will need some patience with it. But if you get it right, it can be good. So what we're going to do is we'll blur this area. We'll blur this area, but we won't blur this side or this side. We'll split it into four. So to add an extra handle, you find your space and just left click. And we'll put them there now if we come to this one it gives us different settings so we can go up with this and come down and it only blurs it a slight bit and it's about play just playing around with the settings now this one we can completely take the blur out then come back to this one if we go up no happens and can be a bit of a pain but if you do mess about with it it can get there this one's got a slight blur to it so we can take that off and lower that down and now that's got no blur at all now we come back to this we should be able to extend the blur out even further You'll find with this one though, in the settings, if you start off real small, it's okay. But if you go big up from there upwards, it jumps up really high and to real small. So you do need to go really down low. So using your mouse over here like we can do won't work unless you want to go 0.5 to the bottom setting. And then it's just about messing around with it to see what settings you can get and how much blur so we take that off and we can up the blur to that one and we can even add more it's not just four it's up to you how many you use lower it right down to give it less blur to clear it up or we can go right up to blur it even further but if you do keep going it will affect the areas that it's close to so you do need to go careful with that so if you do have a lot you 
we'll need to play play around with it just to keep the other areas in focus and that's it for this one that's the field blur if you do like the field blur please give this video a thumbs up and if it has helped you understand it a little bit better and you're not subscribed please do subscribe and i will see you next time thank you for watching